Today on Power ng Pinoy We'll introduce you to Ray Banatao, a trained biochemist and entrepreneur that combined his professional skills with his passion to sports. Plus, we'll learn more about the Banatao Scholarship Foundation, which helps California high school students of Filipino heritage pursue careers in science and engineering. With our host, Anthony Rivero. Wanting to see our ideas turn into a real product and see that product influence people in their everyday lives, that's really gratifying and that's what drives us today. It's not the pressure of living in the shadow of Dada Bonata. Hi, I'm Anthony Rivero. Welcome to Power ng Pinoy. In season one, we met Silicon Valley pioneer and venture capitalist, Mr. Dado Bonatao. Let's meet another member of the Bonatao family, Mr. Ray Bonatao co-founder of Entropy Resins. Let's hear his amazing journey to success. I don't do these things because I think I need to be as successful as my father or more successful than my father. And I think if you talk to any of my siblings, they would say the same thing. They do these things for themselves. There's something there, maybe it's genetic, that we all have, but wanting to see our ideas turn into a real product and see that product influence people in their everyday lives, that's really gratifying and that's what drives us today. It's not the pressure of living in the shadow of Dada Banata, it's more competing with ourselves actually and, and wanting to make sure that, that we're successful in these ideas that we have starting our own companies. It was no surprise that growing up, Ray was interested in science and math. But he was also just as interested in the arts. By the time I got to high school, I got into chemistry and, and physics and math and all those sort of things. So there was just a draw for me in that, to, to that direction. I just was always curious about it. I painted a lot and drew a lot as a kid. And um, before, when I was in high school applying to colleges, uh, I, I did well in, in, in art. And uh, my art teacher was uh, just kind of thought that I would naturally go to art school and she helped me put a portfolio together. And uh, when I kind of brought up the idea to my dad, of course, he being the engineer, wasn't crazy about it. And uh, he proposed, okay, well, if you want to go pursue that, you know, find a way to, to make that happen. And, uh, but it kind of meant without his support. <laughs> my freshman year in college, I, I took all my science classes, but I also took art classes and going to Berkeley, where it's a whole nother level of competition, I kind of realized maybe I wasn't fully cut out to be an artist. I ended up um, still pursuing all the, the biology and chemistry stuff and I ended up just majoring in that. So you would have like 400 students in a biochemistry class. And so it's easy to get lost in the crowd. So it was a pretty competitive place. Probably the thing that keeps you going in that is just your passion for what you're, you're learning and what you're studying. Uh, I was always genuinely interested in that work, so for me, it wasn't that big of a problem, but yeah, it was, it was a pretty competitive place to, to be a student. A lot of hard work paid off to get the degree, but I still knew that there was a long road ahead. And then after that, then there was still more training. So I, I would say that it felt good to get a degree, but I still knew that there were other things I wanted to do on top of it. So I was still motivated to go out and learn more. After graduating from the University of California in Berkeley and working in the biotech industry for a couple of years, Ray went to graduate school to get a PhD in bioinformatics, a field that combined biochemistry and computer science. Eventually, he started a company alongside his brother Desi. My brother and I, who always had a passion for science, also had a passion for sports. We grew up in California, skateboarding, 
snowboarding, skiing, uh, eventually surfing, and watching those sports evolve, my brother and I would always exchange these ideas and my dad would be listening to these conversations. And one day he just said, well, why don't you guys do something about it? And, and we're like, well, what? And he said, why don't you guys take the skills that you have and apply it to something you're really passionate about, which it sounds like are sporting goods. So we started kind of putting it all together. Our initial idea was actually to, to be a sporting good brand. And we did that for a couple of years and kind of stumbled. And, but the one thing that we did discover was that for every product that we made, we found that there are more people interested in just the material itself for their own ideas. So kind of the light bulb clicked, well, you know, if we were smart about this, we'd probably form a business around just the materials, and that's where Entropy Resins came about. Entropy Resins is at the forefront of eco-friendly products. Their product, SuperSAP, is the first USDA bio-preferred certified epoxy system in the industry. One of our customers built skis out of our material, and their star athlete just won the gold medal in the freestyle skiing at the X Games in Colorado this past winter. So it's cool to know that we could develop a material that was eco-friendly and high performance enough for this ski company to give to their athlete to go and compete and win a gold medal. In addition to his passion for sports and science, Ray is able to use his background in art. I would say I still to this day have an appreciation for the arts um, and somewhat passion for the arts uh, in terms of graphic design. So. Uh, that's kind of culminated in, in, in my companies now. So now I get a say in what, what the company does in terms of marketing co collateral and, and public facing. So in that regard, I, get, I still get to, to have an outlet for that. I think we're learning every day and we're figuring out how to turn this into a, a viable business. So uh, we're having fun doing it and that's probably the most important thing. We're doing well today, we're growing every year. Uh, we have distribution worldwide now, and we're starting to be seen in everyday consumer products. Besides business, helping the community is also a family effort for the Bonato family. Education is the foundation of everything, and in our family we truly believe science and engineering is a discipline that uh, can help enable economic development. Uh, we're looking for kids who are truly passionate about science and engineering. That's first and foremost. There's a lot of talented kids out there, but we need to make sure that they are truly interested in that because that ensures they, they have the best chance of success going into, into that field. Ray and his siblings are also involved with the Bonato Family Filipino American Education Fund that their parents, Dado and Maria, founded. We will meet some of the Bonato scholars and their families right after the break. They really took a load off. Just, just the, the thought of having to pay for so much and that burden just got lifted. I couldn't imagine it being better. It's so unique and so life-changing. Ray and the Bonato family not only provide scholarships, but also serve as an excellent example for the Filipino-American youth on how to use science to help to make our world a better place. Our family truly believes in education is the best solution to any problem. The Bonato Family Scholarship was something that we did as a family. It's a family uh, scholarship that uh, we decided about 12 years ago. We wanted to support uh, successful Filipino-American kids in high school who are very interested in science and engineering. Part of the reason actually that we started this is that we are way underrepresented here in Silicon Valley. So when I look around as to where we can potentially give a little bit back to the community, it was easy for us to address that uh, underrepresentation. You'll see that there's a variety of things that parents do that kind of influence their kids. 
When I was a kid, my parents would really encourage us to study hard in school, be the top of our class, and science and math is something that I always had an affinity for. It was something that I was interested in as a young person. My family did a lot of math when we were growing up. My parents always emphasized it as the most important thing because it builds like logic and skills and endurance and problem solving. And so I really love math. We focused on their math. If you think that uh, you can subcontract it to schools and a tutor, it's not going to work. It has to be the parents. You have to know your kids' natural abilities. And then you can only promote it and enhance it and support it. The majority of our kids that have the ability to be in science and technology, we should do everything we can to, to make them take that. And then to turbocharge them, we need to pair them up with entrepreneurship. In 2002, Dado and Maria established the Banato Family Filipino American Education Fund and is administered by the Asian Pacific Fund to help California high school students of Filipino heritage pursue careers in science and engineering, fields where Filipinos are underrepresented. This assistance is beneficial as university fees continue to rise and as families struggle to get good education for their children. Joe Mar Sevilla, a math enthusiast, is one of the scholarship recipients. He and a number of scholars are currently enrolled in top universities across the country. And all the scholars are still really passionate about the scholarship, so this scholarship isn't just like a check to us. It means a lot more. Joe Mar has an aptitude towards math, and when he reached high school, he eventually developed an interest in engineering. I thought I was just really fit for engineering and specifically electrical engineering because I always was so curious about how the world worked. The scholarship is offered to students of Filipino heritage pursuing majors in engineering, mathematics, computer science, environmental or physical science. So far we've had uh, at least 20 to 23 um, scholars every year. The scholarship program grants $5,000 to each scholar for four years. While in the program, scholars maintain a minimum grade point average and pursue a degree in engineering and sciences. It's hard enough and to force their kid to take engineering because if they're not good at it, it it's, it's difficult. Uh, I was lucky enough that, you know, I found a scholarship. They really took a load off. Just, just the, the thought of having to pay for so much, and that burden just got lifted. I really enjoy mentorship. Just knowing that I can have a direct impact on these truly talented um, scholars, that's really gratifying. The Banato Scholarship Program is now on its 12th year of unparalleled commitment to the Filipino community in America. It's very rewarding experience for us for the last 12 years. Of course, it's been a very good partnership with Asian Pacific Fund. We don't just give the scholarship. We really try to be involved as much as we can with them. This is a different kind of scholarship wherein the retreats uh, and the um, dinner with Mr. Banatao is giving them uh, motivation and a moral support to uh, to do well in their uh, engineering fields. I couldn't imagine it being better. It's so unique and so life-changing. Through the retreat program, it's not just a scholarship that gives money to people. It really connects us and connects us with our engineering passion and really tries to channel us to like a higher purpose. I can't see myself um, just not being Filipino, not being Filipino-American and not working to improve conditions in the Philippines and conditions for Filipino Americans here in the U.S. It's very encouraging to have uh, Filipinos wanting to bring up younger generations so that we can all move forward together. The Banato Scholarship Program is more than just about free education. It shares in Dado's vision of creating waves for Filipinos in the field of science and technology. 
in the end it's it enhances life much more significant than other things science and technology has that ability to really achieve our aspirations and make life a much much higher quality the Bonato Family Filipino American Education Fund has a great deal of confidence in Filipino talent. It fosters leadership and perseverance by investing in intelligent minds who have the potential of impacting Silicon Valley and the world. What is the most unlikely tourist attraction in Cebu that has caught the attention of international audiences? Know more about the Philippines, its culture, and history when Power ng Pinoy returns. The Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center, a maximum security prison in Cebu, is now a famous tourist site after the amazing video of its 1,500 inmates dancing to the tune of Michael Jackson's thriller spread virally across the internet in 2007. The video of the dancing inmates posted on YouTube awed the world, generating more than 300,000 daily hits. The highly talked about dance even made it to the Time magazine's list of most watched internet videos. Michael Jackson's own choreographer also paid visit to the inmates and taught them the famous moves of the late King of Pop. The dancing inmates of Cebu gaining the nod of the world even behind bars. It's more fun getting to know sari sari stories about the Philippines right here on Power ng Pinoy. Instead of living under the shadow of his father, Ray chose to make a name for himself. But just like his father Dado, Ray does not forget to give back to the Filipino-American community. The way science works now is it's almost like think of any problem that you want to solve in the world and go look at all the basic sciences as your toolkit of how I'm going to go solve those problems. So it's a pretty, pretty cool, dynamic, interesting place to be right now for a scientist. I don't see any boundaries to being a Filipino, starting a business, or being a scientist or engineer. There's a lot of room for scientists and engineers to actually have an impact on the world, and it doesn't always have to be um, creating the latest you know, computer chip. It could be something as simple as finding a way to get access to clean water, food, and electricity. A single ski isn't going to necessarily save the planet. Um, it's sending a message that, that people can choose a product that is greener or better for the planet and still be able to you know, achieve all their goals. What's the Banatao's family secret? Foster their child's ability to always ask questions about anything. You know, even if it's not scientific based, uh, just that ability to, to ask the question. Um, and probably the second thing would be to support them in the idea that taking risks are okay. That it's okay to fail, it's okay to learn from mistakes. At the end of the day, being an entrepreneur is about having a vision and executing on that vision because you want to see it turn into a reality. Yan ang power ng Pinoy. Ray and the rest of the Bonato family aim to produce Filipino-American scientists and engineers. They're changing the world, not only through their products, but more importantly, to their scholars. Join us again next week as we bring more stories from talented Kababayans all over the globe. Meanwhile, share your stories with us on Facebook. Tell us what inspires you and motivates you to reach for your own dreams, because nothing is impossible as long as you plan ahead, pray hard, and work even harder. And if you do well, help others do well too. Dahil yan, ang power ng Pinoy.